so now in the last lecture we have found that uh, upper triangular matrix form by doing some operations in the uh, by gauss elimination method so now here we will find the procedure for getting the solution so let's say this is your upper triangular matrix so the first variable we will going to find straight forward so here minus 4.75 into z is equal to 11.875 so the z will be 11.875 divided by 4.75 minus right so here this is the z but what is the index of that this is the a n n if you remember this is the a n n this is y n and this is a n n plus one so let me write this thing first in the code Here, I am going to write this y n is equal to a n n plus 1. divided by a and n and this is straightforward now we'll move to the next thing what is the next thing we will move upward so the n and the row is already covered we will start from n minus 1 and go up to n so i let's say the index is i n minus 1 to 1 so use that one for loop for i equal to n minus 1 i greater than or equal to 1 i plus plus so this is our first index for moving upward direction and here we are getting that row now when you move the upward direction number of column which are you are going to utilize is also increased and it is increasing at the i plus 1 rate uh, what what is uh, the meaning of that so let's say the number of uh, the you are in the first row i is equal to 1 so number of column you are going to look is this and this so start from i plus 1 so j is equal to i plus 1 to n right similarly for here number of column extra columns you are going to look for if you are in the i is equal to 2 so then j will start from the 3 and here the same j you are going to utilize for these accessing these rows right so j will be here from i plus 1 to n but for representing for rows of the variable right so if you see the multiplication 2x plus first, first, first row 3y plus 5z so 
here j is equal to 2 for this column and j is equal to 2 for this row. So same thing we are going to implement in the code. For j is equal to i plus 1 i or uh, j less than or equal to m j plus plus and here what we are going to calculate we are going to calculate by i so what will be the y i y i will be y i minus so these things will be uh, will go so 2x plus 3y plus 5z is equal to 0 i am just giving the example so this will give this is the your constant this is your y i and this is the coefficient of y i so first what i do i initialize y i with the constant so y i is equal to constant then i subtract this part so i'll subtract this part and then finally i will divide this two so let's first initialize this So y i is equal to a constant uh, uh, column number is fixed. So a i this is the row number and column number is always n plus 1. And here from here I will subtract that part 2x plus 3y part. So for that we need a j, j index. So that will be a i j and this will be y z. Right. And after finishing this. What we will do? We will divide with this coefficient outside of the j loop. So y i is equal to y i divided by a i i. And here we are going to print the solution. So C out solution is in L. For printing, we are going to utilize the one for loop for. i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus c out y i okay so now let's compile and see whether our solution going to work or not. Oh, here that will be i minus minus. That i will decrease. Okay.
let's run again So the A11 will be 2, 3, 5, 0, 0, 4, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 11. And your solution is 4, 1.5 and minus 2.5. So that's all. And in this process, you also learn how to... I mean check your code and what type of error you can uh, what type of mistake you can make okay thank you